Hello and welcome to the Monday, January 8th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, we got a couple of uh, good diaries to talk about here for uh, the weekend. Uh, first one is by Rob about how to use PowerShell commands in order to get information similar to the good old netstat command. Netstat, of course, if you go to tool, if you're trying to figure out what ports a system is listening on and also what particular process listens on a specific port. PowerShell has a number of commands here that you can use a get process to get the processes like uh, your process IDs and process name. And then there are uh, two commands for the connections. There is get net UDP endpoint and get net TCP endpoint. These uh, functions have quite a bit of detail to provide. Uh, one thing I found particular neat is that you can also get how long a connection has been listening and with that figure out if you have any sort of long running processes that are listening on the network. So create for a quick sort of a triage to see if anything bad is happening on the system, but also just for routine system maintenance. And Xavi wrote up a new example of an older phishing trick where the phishing site first claims that the password is incorrect and then tricks the user into resubmitting the password. Of course, there is a better chance of getting a correct password if they both match. The other issue here is I've sometimes seen the advice and don't necessarily agree with it, but if you're not sure if something is a phishing site, to first submit a bad password and then if... It comes back as being correct and you know, hey, this was a phishing site. Uh, maybe these sort of double submission phishing sites try to play on that a little bit and hope to get the user then in the second attempt to submit their correct password. And finally, Guy wrote about an attack against his honeypot that uh, was originated by the Promete uh, Trojan or uh, malware. At least that's what VirusTotal identified it as. And well, Guy is providing the usual indicators of compromise to help you identify these compromises in your network. It looks like North Korea is after your Max, at least according to a blog post by Karek Lesenovich, who took apart a spectral plur variant that did in fact Max. It's a Mac binary. Now it's not digitally signed. It's something the victim would have to willingly install on their system. But once installed, it provides your basic backdoor functionality running shell command, updating configurations, delete files, uh, read files. So everything kind of an attacker typically would like to do is available via this particular backdoor. Now, while I've seen this being called the first malware of 2024, it's important to note that apparently this was originally uploaded to VirusTotal back in August. And always kind of interesting that... Uh, I would say super sophisticated pieces of malware like this is something that definitely should be detectable is apparently staying around for uh, quite a while because before they are sort of uh, widely publicly detected. And I think it was just last week that I talked about how malware is taking advantage of persistent authentication information stored on users' systems in order to then later take over these accounts, even after a user logged out or changed their passwords. Well, Google now responded to this particular attack and basically said, well, it's a feature, it's not a bug. I mentioned that this is a feature in a sense that it does lead to more persistent logins uh, with Google Chrome in particular. Of course, you can also see this as a bug in that, well, it's sometimes nice to be able to actually effectively log out, which uh, is kind of difficult given uh, the way uh, these credentials are stored and then being used to resurrect expired sessions. Well, this is it for today. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again tomorrow 
if you subscribe, then of course, you will not miss tomorrow's podcast. Thanks and bye.